Arabs today speak the same kind of Arabic that is found in the Muslim's holy book, the Quran. Going back to the analogy that I use in the original video that this comment was left under, the analogy that I tend to use between like modern day Arabic and Quranic Arabic is kind of like in English, and being clear also that I am not Arab. I don't speak Arabic, I don't speak Quranic Arabic, I don't speak modern like a dialect of Arabic, so this is just me having information about other groups and being Muslim myself and, you know, so knowing some Arabic terms as Muslims all over the world do. The analogy that I like to use to explain to non-Muslims is kind of like, again, speaking in English, that I don't understand Shakespearean English, like the phrases that I had to learn like in high school and middle school reading all kinds of plays. I had to study and read and like, honestly, there's like books of translations of Shakespearean English, right? Even though like some of it is very kind of similar, I can kind of understand some of it, but it's not the same thing. I have to study it because it's literally like from however long ago. So it's kind of similar in the sense of Arabs today have a lot that they are able to know a lot of vocabulary, the script they don't have to learn, they don't have to learn like the letters, they don't have to learn the accent marks and stuff like that. Again, me not being Arab, I have tried to study Arabic a couple of times, but language learning just does not like, oh, I hate, ugh, my brain does not work with language learning. So if you go to different parts of the Arab world today, you are gonna find also different dialects. So I brought up a very fancy picture from Wikipedia you can see these are the different areas where Arabic is spoken. Uh, you have North Africa, Sudan, it looks like part of Niger, I think. There's a lot of like African countries, North Africa and further south in Africa, Somalia, Ethiopia. Uh, there's obviously the Arab Peninsula, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, so on. Um, there's also the Levantine areas, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, so on. There's Iraq. Egypt is also has their own dialect as well. They have like their own versions of these different languages and my understanding they're able to talk to each other sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes people understand Egyptian Arabic because they watch Egyptian shows. But yeah, generally this is the area that you will see Arabic spoken.